how bearable the living conditions, but the food situation was very bad. There was not uh, much food available and we had to do with whatever we were able to uh, get. One day I uh, was assigned uh, again, uh, this was uh, still in the Gepa days, uh, to unload some uh, car loads with potatoes and uh, it was uh, What I say, uh, the people at home were happy when I was able to steal some of the potatoes whilst unloading, put them in my uh, tie my uh, uh, trousers and put in some potatoes in them and bring them home, which uh, helped for a few days to uh, have something uh, to eat. How about Jewish education and Jewish worship in the ghetto? Was that uh, restricted? Did that continue? Uh, it did not uh, continue. We were uh, definitely uh, scared. Even the first the uh, war occurred, I think the war started uh, just a few days before New Year's for Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of September. And uh, I think the, even the first Rosh Hashanah, we were scared to go back to, uh, although people ventured out to Daven, still in the official uh, synagogue or Bate Midrash. But uh, generally, people were afraid to uh, do it, not to be detected by the uh, Germans. Uh, from the point of view of schooling, uh, there was no official schooling anymore. But we tried to, uh, friends of mine, still from the Bnei Akiva organization that I uh, was a member from before the war, and also some of my classmates, we were able to arrange again classes, educational uh, courses, once or twice a week above a tannery outside of, uh, on the outskirts of uh, the town. And we continued this for about nine months. Again, uh, it was, uh, the consequences were unfortunately after the nine months uh, were very bitter because the uh, SA, which were the Schutzpolizei, the German Schutzpolizei detected us and uh, they found out, found out where we are. They came up and uh, one of our dear, one of my dear, very dear friends was shot on the spot. And uh, the rest of us uh, managed somehow with quite a bit of beatings, we managed somehow to get out alive. They could have shot us all and uh, from this day on, no more uh, education. This was general education. We also continued months we also continued to uh, study at the Shiva that continued at uh, the home of the head of our Yeshiva for about once or twice a week a few hours here and there. Unfortunately again I have to mention where our Rosh Yeshiva was uh, a saint. He was called by the Germans addressing uh, the few students who assembled was taken out to the courtyard. He was shot summarily on the spot and his body was stumped in a well that was uh, on, the, uh, on the yard outside. It was uh, a terrible shock to us all and uh, you couldn't get over it for a long time. How, were you, uh, how long did you and your family remain uh, in the ghetto, uh, Mr. Tobel? When did you leave? We left, uh, we stayed in the uh, ghetto again after the uh, 13 months that I uh, worked in Stalchowice. Mm -hmm. This uh, continued until October the 11th of 1942, where the deportation took place from the town. Until then, I worked in Stalchowice. This was the deportation was on a Sunday, October 11th. I worked till Friday at the uh, Stalkovica factory. When I came home, the, uh, we still didn't know what was uh, happening, but on Sunday morning, uh, the uh, loudspeakers and uh, the German, Jewish and Polish policemen ran over the town and uh, urged, uh, ordered each and every one to get out to with uh, the little personal belongings, whatever one could take with them, to get out to the main market square and assemble uh, 
that uh, I myself are, and also they also announced that the uh, people who have valid working permits that worked on specific locations, they uh, should uh, assemble on the Arbeitsplatz, which was, uh, it was called uh, the uh, working place, which was outside the town hall in, in Ostoviec, and uh, which we did. It was a very tearful uh, separation between uh, uh, myself and my stepmother and my two little sisters. But uh, being afraid of not being next day at our working place, then we couldn't help it. Also, my father, as I mentioned before, as he was uh, the, uh, in charge of uh, the burial society, he also was afraid to uh, not to be there next day. Therefore, myself and my father went to this Arbeitsplatz and assembled uh, there. The rest of uh, the people went to the marketplace. I would say nine, over 90% of uh, the Jewish population went to the marketplace. This uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, I myself, uh, I still saw my father and uh, hoping that next day I'll be able to go back to Sarkovice, to my work where I worked until now. And my father will be able to continue in his, uh, his job as in the burial society, which alleviated him to go out to work on different uh, locations from day to day. I have to maybe mention here a uh, question I put to my father when I asked him, Daddy, what shall I do if they're going to feed me non-kosher food in camp? Should I eat it or not? And the last uh, few words that I heard from my father were, my dear child, eat whatever they'll give you and stay alive. This was the last I saw of my father. Unfortunately, there was no need anymore for his services, and they took many with them included up also to the place where they assembled on a football field uh, a little further up, about a kilometer away from the marketplace where all the people were assembled and stayed there till uh, Wednesday. The group left who were, had working permits. They took us to, in the evening, they took us to uh, this Yavne school, which had uh, quite a few of large rooms, empty rooms, and they put us uh, there for overnight. And we thought the next morning we'll be able to go back to our work. It didn't happen so. We stayed there until Wednesday morning. In 1995, we are interviewing Mordecai Topol. The interviewer is Miriam Horowitz. We are in Teaneck, New Jersey, in the United States, and the language of the interview is in English. Mr. Topol, uh, to go back to the ghetto, what was the name of the ghetto? Was it have a particular name? No, it did not. All right, it would you like? Still, the town of Ostrovets, and mm -hmm. uh, the ghetto was uh, didn't have any specific uh, uh -huh. name, any special name. Uh -huh. Could you tell us what happened to you after your father was taken away and then you continued to work? Would you like to tell us where you went after that? Yes. Uh, on, as I mentioned again, on Wednesday, which was uh, three days after the uh, evacuation of uh, the people, uh, we were taken out, those who went originally Sunday night to the Yavne school, during the night, also some people joined us who were in hiding places and they found an escape to come out from the hiding places and, and they joined us at the Yavna school. Many were shot during those few days who were found 
and the hiding places, many people were shot during those few days. Uh, I can't uh, say specifically uh, the uh, amount, but we were told later on that over 150 people were shot in town uh, who were found hiding. On Wednesday, we were ordered to go out to the uh, Arbeitsplatz again. We assembled there, and uh, people from uh, different uh, German enterprises came out to pick out workers for their places. I myself, uh, being uh, maybe, uh, I was lucky until, I'm lucky until this very day, but uh, I was lucky that a man by, the, he was a German,